Good evening. Uh, the reason for my being here is because I feel it's my civic duty to do what I'm going to ask tonight. Again, I said it's not tonight, but I, I want to talk about sidewalks. For all new developments only. It is my understanding that the developer for new developments would have to pay to install the sidewalks in the development. And the town pays to maintain if the sidewalks that they put in need some repair. However, if the town does not plow the sidewalk, it would be, it could be used without plowing the sidewalk from, say, March to October. And if they did that, what we're saying then basically is that there would be no cost basically to the town at all. Because all they're doing is having a chip and fixing that. The following have sidewalks already. Right. They might even have them on both sides of the street. Right. Penfield has sidewalks. The city of Rochester has sidewalks. And Arundacoit has sidewalks. In Arundacoit, there are some 300 miles of sidewalks. But only part of that is maintained. So I guess what I'm saying there is that if you don't want to put in the sidewalks, obviously you're not going to put in sidewalks when the development is already there. So what we could maybe do is do it in the new developments, as I said before. So the reason for sidewalks would be for adults running and walking as well as taking care of their dogs. Uh, the other day in Gravel, I saw a person walking down Gravel Road with four dogs. I don't know how they keep them together so they don't get hurt. Kids don't always think when they get a basketball that goes down the road and what do they do? They'll run after it because they don't think about the cars coming by or whatever and the development across the street from me uh, Hills Pond Road it goes like this a big bend, a big S so basically I saw the other day a woman right in the middle of the road with a baby carriage and then, luckily, she got out of the way. I saw a boy get off the bus. They left him in the middle of the street. I was running by. I said, young man, you're on the wrong side of the street. And good-natured as he was, he, he went across the street on the right side. So if I heard, if I was presenting this to the planning board, I could just hear Tony Kashani saying to me, to our everybody, uh, Kids should play in the backyard. They have no business in the front yard. But guess what? Where the basketball hoops are? They're in the front yard. And everybody in my division, I think, has got one. And in the basketball court, the, the, the court is in the front yard. Unfortunately, when the developers build the... the, the, the uh, the buildings, the, the houses, it's all on a slant. For drainage, of course, I mean, it's, it's well in their interest to do that. But kids don't act like adults. And we can't treat them that way. And for no expense, we can join the rest of the county or the towns around us. It's only the right thing to do. Mr. Coons? Am I five minutes, Rob? 
Well, yes, but I, and I, and I, interestingly enough, I mean, I certainly would welcome questions and feedback from the board, but I just, uh, I wonder, you know, with the you know board what, supervisor, since you're a supervisor, supervisor, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. Uh, my wife says I need hearing aids. Oh, <laughs> so. your wife and my wife know each other, don't they? Um, um, I, I certainly would welcome questions and feedback from the board, but, but because we do have Joe Herbst, who is the Highway Department Superintendent here, Joe, any insights on this? Because because I you know I, I think I know what to say about this, but I haven't reached that level of confidence that I totally understand everything. I, I actually, excuse me. Okay. Actually, Supervisor, I wasn't really. I was just here, as I said at the beginning, for my civic duty. I'm not here to get challenge the things I said or to, to get, you know, necessarily your, but if you want, that's fine. But I mean, I, I was just saying, sure, it's no, time, I, it's time. I actually, I thought that you gave a great talk, by the way. <laughs> and um, I'm what? You gave a great talk. You, you're, you, it was impassioned, it was articulate, it, it, it was fantastic. And Patty, you were going to say or ask something? I just was curious as to the cost per square foot of repairing a sidewalk. What's concrete going for these days, Joe? It's a bucket quarter square yard. But I hope that's not something that we've... That's just a concrete cost. Of, that's just concrete. That's not labor or right. anything else. Yeah. I, here's what I'm not positive of, so I'm going to ask for uh, my fellow board members who are much more veteran at this than me to... Uh, jump in if I've made an error. Um, and I'd be interested to know how the other towns handle it. I think I know how Roger might handle it. Any subdivision, any any place in Webster that wants a sidewalk can get a sidewalk. But they're going to have a sidewalk district. So ultimately, when you look at your tax bill, you would see another line item for the cost of install installing that sidewalk, the cost of maintaining it, can you not hear me, or are you? No, I, I hear you. Uh, oh, okay. I just thought, there is no cost. The developer is going to pay for the sidewalks. I, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase. Hills Bond already built, right? No sidewalks. So let's say the people on Hills Pond in that neighborhood wanted sidewalks. If they gather together, and, and since I haven't had Bill or any other board member stop me, I think I'm accurate. Um, they could gather together and say, we want sidewalks. And we would say, okay, well, this is, you know, we get the engineering, whatever, this is what it's going to cost to install them. And we would have, that would be spread out on the, um, on the existing subdivision. Is that correct? Okay. Now, a new subdivision, well, I don't know really what to say about that because I still think even if you got the, if the developer builds them, it will translate into the cost of each house. The then subsequent maintaining of them, even if there's nothing that's got to be done, as you said, Mr. Coons, between March and October because the weather is nice, but the reality is actually that's when the most maintenance would be done. Not plowing, but let's face it. I don't know about you, but my sidewalks and my house and my asphalt, no matter how good I got to take care of it, we live in Rochester, New York, Western New York. They crack, water gets in, expands when it freezes, and the, the maintenance is repairing the sidewalks. Is that correct, Joe? Yeah. Probably less cost to repair them to actually than if you, uh, well, I don't know, you'd have to, we don't have sidewalk plows uh, that I know of in the town, do we? The village does. So that still would be not only, it would translate, I think, to a higher cost per house, which, hey, if the market will bear it, that's great. And it would be a wonderful feature to the neighborhood. I don't think anybody would deny that for all the things that you said. But I just want people to understand that when you, you know, the town ultimately would not be paying for that maintenance, plowing, and repairing 
that would be the sidewalk district of that new development. Does that make sense, Mr. Coates? No. Okay. <laughs> Again, I like his honesty. Supervisor, it's for new. We can't go back to old developments. We can't go back to Hills Pond Road and say, look, we're going to put in sidewalks for you. No, I just want it so that we can do it. So it's in new developments only. Mr. Coons? Yes. We can do it. The new development, but I want to make sure you hear me. Because I got your ears too. My <laughs> wife says I can't hear anything anymore. And then my kids say I yell a lot. I'm not, I just can't hear, so I talk loud. We can do that. We can say to the developer, we, you're going to put sidewalks in here. And that $200,000 house, my guess, will now be $215,000. I, I don't know. I, I can't get well. We don't know. So let's say we get that done. Will they need to be maintained? Will they need to be plowed? No, we, can, we, we don't have to plow, just like a running court. Only okay. A few, a little bit. When they get repaired, which will happen, maybe not in year one, but it, they will get repaired. All I'm saying is that the, the subdivision would be a sidewalk district of the town, and the costs that are incurred on that repair will not be paid for by the town, but by the neighborhood's citizens. Do you follow me on that? Yes. I, I, I can't believe if a sidewalk is done properly with cement, that it wouldn't last 20 or 30 years before repairs would have to be made. And then it would be just a few of them. I, I had, I, my daughter lives in Brighton and I, so I'm aware where what sidewalks are and what how they uh, how long they last, and uh, I think that would be something that the board could look into. If you well, the board, it. like I said, the board can look into it if, if if you're looking for the board to make a resolution or an ordinance or a law that any new residential developments will by law or ordinance or resolution have sidewalks. I would be hard pressed to say that we would move forward on that without a lot of discussion and a lot of open forums and all that. Absolutely. But what might be interesting to know, Mr. Coons, is that the next subdivision that goes in and, and the developers working with us, Joe, I don't know how easy it would be to say, hey, what would the cost increase be in a typical house that's got 100 foot of frontage or 60 foot of frontage for you to put sidewalks in. It's roughly 50 bucks a foot, a square foot. Cost of itself. Yeah. 50 bucks a square foot. So between 35 and 50, playing in the So 60 grade. foot would be $3,000 and it's not one foot wide sidewalk. No, it's four foot. We figured this out once before. $25,000? It ended up being $2,025 per household to add them into it. How much? Two thousand twenty-five hundred per household. To add them into That's the less than I would have thought. Um, but the developer's going to pass that on to the consumer. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Coates, I'm, I don't. I'm not, and I can't speak for the rest of the board members. Your your yeah, idea well, is not without merit, but it's also not something I think that would go to a resolution or ordinance or law or whatever by the board, there would be a, quite a process of discernment on that. That's, that's, again, that's not why I'm here. I'm just here to give you some information about what I know. I don't even know if it's all correct. I'm just trying to say that uh, if all the towns around us have sidewalks, why can't we? 